Good morning. Hi, good morning. I will wait for some people to come on this morning. Um, we are going to make Mother's Day cards for people. Um, if you have a mother in the room right now, we'll go ahead and get that mom out of there. I don't see anyone on yet, so we'll wait for a couple of seconds. Um, and if nobody shows up, we'll just go ahead and do this, and then you yeah. guys can re go ahead and rewatch when you're done. So there's one, good morning. Good morning, how you doing? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start out um, with our pledge real quick. So, Lindsay, you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to set the camera. So this is some of the things that you're going to need today. Um, again, I would like parents to kind of like go away if you can, Lindsay. Let's see. How do I flip that? There we go. All right, we got their camera flipped. So I asked for you guys to get, and I'm just gonna show you the supplies that you're gonna need so you can grab them if you need them. And I don't have anything to show you today as a final um, because I didn't do it because my supplies were limited. So I have some hard paper. If you don't have any hard paper, you could use a cereal box if you want to, but. You need it the size of like a normal piece of like copy paper, like this copy paper, or right around that size. Then you're gonna need colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, I got like, you know, old pink bags, like that's a pink bag. I got an old like gift bag that is colorful and bright. And then I've got one like kind of green and I've got one blue. And then they also come with these nice ropes too that we could use for glue or they come with a ribbon and some have ribbon and you can use that ribbon too. And I actually had some ribbon from my house. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser. You're gonna need another piece, uh, you're gonna need a glue stick and a ruler. And you're also gonna need, if like, so if your white paper right here matches the color of paper that you have on your background, you can even like color it in because we're gonna make our Mother's Day uh, flowers in our basket. Is Lindsay? Is anybody saying anything right now? I said hi. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Lonnie. Okay, so to start this project out, I want you guys to get your actual piece of paper that is your hard one that you're going to use for your vase. So I'm keeping this like a neutral in color. Hi, Hayes. Hi, Henry. So this is going to be my thicker paper. And if you don't have thick paper and all you have is copy paper, you could color this in afterwards when you're done. Okay. So hopefully you've gathered some colored paper. I told you you have three different colors. So I have a red, a purple, and a green paper that's different colors. So, you know, right now I could use my purple one for my vase and use red and green for my flowers. Okay. So all we're gonna do is take this paper and we're gonna fold it in half. And I already had pre-folded mine before you guys showed up. And we're gonna fold it in half like a book, like we're reading a book. And once you've got that folded in half, I hear Lindsay doing that, I want you to just take your fingers if it's cardboard and really kind of get it nice, crisp, and neat there. Then, we're gonna make sure that this is on the part where the fold is not. So my fold is down here. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna draw at the top of my page a light line across my paper, just like that. That's gonna be for the lip of the flower pot. And again, I'm gonna darken that in just a little bit more and I'm gonna zoom in on that so you guys can see that a little bit better. There we go. So, so slow down. okay, yes, I'll slow down. So you can see that I've made this line and later on we can make that in Sharpie too if we want to and outline that in Sharpie. So this will be for the lip of the flower. After you've folded your paper in half, the side that does not have the fold on it, you're gonna draw that nice, pretty line there. And then we're gonna turn it over, and you can do the same thing to the back, too. Julian Anderson's birthday is May 14th. 
Oh, happy almost birthday, Jillian. Happy I'm birthday. Oh, birthday. yeah, I think we, we will. A birthday cake or something. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Always a good reason to eat oh, cake. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Awesome, guys. So, everybody, I want you to draw that line. And you can do it on both sides, okay? And that's going to be for your base, okay? So, I'm going to take my time and slow down. All right. So. Okay, boys, stop, stop, stop. Thank you. All right, so as I'm slowing down, what I can do while we're waiting, if you're ahead of everybody else, you can get another piece of your paper out right now. And what I want you to do is I just want you to draw on there. You know how we drew those teardrops before? You can draw a teardrop while you're waiting on another piece of paper and this is something that you can do while you're waiting this is gonna be your pattern so you want it on something kind of thick you could even use like an old box like I've got this honey made box I could use this for my pattern but this is thick enough and so I want this all to be the same size so it almost looks like a lemon what do you think it looks like Lindsay right there a wider teardrop a something. wider teardrop of what we've done so um, you're doing you can do it on like this is cardstock. Yep, this is just cardstock, like, uh, a thicker you paper. If you don't have any cardstock, you can do white paper. Yep, you can do it on normal white paper. It just won't hold up as strong, and that's okay. It's a card. You know, it's meant to be pretty. We're just kind of making like a card keepsake. So, if everybody's got this ready to go like that, um, yep, like a raindrop, perfect. So if everybody's got that ready to go, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. So again, I wanna to try to find my middle and I'm gonna put a dot there lightly because we're gonna erase that dot. And now I'm gonna make my, so I'm gonna take my ruler on this side, move it over, draw down a line so I can make my flower pot. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And I'm just gonna to try to guesstimate where mine is, but I'm gonna make a flower pot like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna look at my lines and see if I like it or not. This one looks a little bit more curved out than that one, so I'm gonna check. Oh yeah, look, there's my distance. I'm off, I was wrong. So I'm gonna fix that one again. And again, I'm just looking through and seeing how I can fix and make mine look equal without bending the card. That looks much better. Your eye can show you what's wrong. And again, if these are not perfect, don't worry about it. Now, when we get done with that, you've drawn your lines in and you're happy with them. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut on your fold up. And then don't worry about it. Take your time. And then we're going to cut here. Oh, look, you can start to see the first part of my flower pot right there. See it? And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to take it and cut up. <laughs> my animals. They're fun. Oops, I cut a little bit too high. That's okay. Nobody will know. And then pull that out. Perfect. Now, these are too long. If I am looking at this, this is too long. And they're too straight. A flower pot's going to have rounded edges. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna zoom in on that and I'll wait for a couple of seconds. I've cut that really nice and neat right there. Woo, I did a nice big cut there, but nobody will notice that. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just kind of like do Oh, a happy face right here on that side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it looks more like a flower pot. It's rounded and we know that it's going back in space. So I'm gonna do the same thing on that side, then take my scissors and cut. And again, when I'm cutting, I can just cut right through. And remember, I wanna get my uh, pencil off of there. Nice. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks really nice. There we go. Oops. All right. We got that going on. And so cut that side and make sure that looks nice. And Lindsay, do you want to show yours too real quick? Yes. Here's what mine looks like. I'm still a little behind. 
No, I'm going good. to draw all my smiley faces and I'm going to cut them out. All right. Sounds good. All right, I'm getting our trash can out for the trash. <laughs> I forgot when we're cutting, we need trash. All right, so that looks good. All right, and then I'm just gonna throw in my scraps and I'm gonna cut on the other side. And I'm gonna turn mine upside down to cut. It's gonna be easier for me. Whatever's easier for you, the artist. And now we have this balanced really cute vase. Look how cute that is. So super cute. Now, if you only have white paper like this, that's fine. I have colored paper that I can use too, but I'm gonna just use white paper on mine right here. And so I'm gonna take my white paper, overlap it on the bottom. I have some, I need to get a scrap. So I'm just using straight old copy paper. All right, Lindsay, you want white? Dang. Slow down. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. So we've got this cut. There we go, sorry about that. So if you are waiting and you've got yours cut, you could go ahead and do your raindrop. And Lindsay? Oh, someone said I love you. Oh, Aww, we love you guys too. Lindsay, I'll make you a raindrop real quick okay. for you. So. All right, so if you are just sitting around waiting and you have nothing to do, you could work on your really rounded raindrop and cut out a thick pattern if you have thicker paper. And again, you could use a file folder for this, computer you know, folder. Um, you could use a cardboard box for this and color in or add you know, paper to the rest of it. If you have construction paper, you could add whatever you want. So... I need to fix that up and make that rainbow look a little nicer on that side. And again, I'm going to... So, um, the Leonard said we just tuned in. What should we do? So okay, so Leonard, you've missed the folding of... You're getting like a nicer, thicker kind of paper if you have one. A tag board type of paper. And all you're going to do is take your paper. Okay, and you're going to... I don't know. Gosh, I might... Hold on. Okay. You're going to take your paper, Leonard's. You're going to fold it in half like this. And everybody that's catching up, you can be cutting out raindrops. You know, those patterns while you're waiting. So, Leonard, you're going to take your paper, fold it in half. You're going to take a ruler. Okay, hold on. I need to cut that. Um... I don't know if they should just back up and start over or wait until it's done because that's kind of a lot for them. Oh, well, you're gonna draw a line here. Turn your paper over. Oh, yeah. You guys, Leonard's, I don't know. You've missed, we're, we've made this vase. So I'm wondering if you should just come back and start over because we kind of did that 10 minutes ago and that's a lot of work that we're gonna try to catch up on. I don't know if we have time. You can make your vase later, that's okay. So Leonard's, if you just showed up, we're going to start on the message part for our project. So, everybody, what I need you to do is get a white piece of paper or whatever color. If you want to color one, don't choose a dark color that you can't see your writing on, like a dark purple. And then you're going to place that on top of your flower bin. And then you can use your ruler to make a box or a square. So, I'm going to draw a line. Draw another line, and then draw a line here. So, Leonard, you can go back and learn how to do the vase afterwards. And when you're done, you can cut that square out. If I were smarter, I would use the edge right here, which that's what I'm going to think I'm going to do. I'm just going to use that edge. I'm going to cut here, and then I'm going to cut a line here. And if you don't cut so perfect, don't worry about it. It's just, it's made for me. That looks really good. And I've got this white piece on top of my flowers. And I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit. There we go, and we've got this white square. And before you glue this down, this is where you're gonna write like your message. So if you're the mom, you could write happy spring. If you know you don't wanna write happy Mother's Day, you don't have to. So I'm gonna write happy Mother's Day. And I'm gonna make sure 
that when I write it, that I am not on top. And I'm gonna use cursive, happy. It's spelled H-A-P-P-Y. Happy is spelled, and I'll have it right here, non-cursive, H-A-P-P-Y. And then we're gonna write mothers, M O T H E R apostrophe S, and then day, D A Y. So you're gonna write Happy Mother's Day in your pretty writing. All right, on your piece of paper, right there. And now you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna glue it down to the center like this. So take your glue and again, the Happy Mother's Day, I'll have it up here so you can see how to spell it. There you go. While well, I'm using glue to glue this down with glue stick. And you could write Happy Spring on there. If you're the mom, you could write whatever you want on there. Happy Thursday, <laughs> happy Friday, whatever you want. I was going to pick up Lindsay this morning and I saw four deer, pretty amazing. She lives in a wooded area in Fisher and it's so cool. Yep, four deer today I saw, that was neat. Spring, spring is in the air, like that, there you go. Just like that on the front part of your vase so you have a message in your vase. All right, next. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take colored paper. So you have this part done. There's your happy Mother's Day. I have, okay, so now I need to make stems for my flowers. Well, these stems could be a little uh, flimsy. So I found some green i found a green bag and this feels a little bit stronger right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut right here and i'm gonna try to make stems so i'm just cutting my bag and i'm gonna show you real quick how i'm gonna make just you know some stems so i need three stems one whoops there we go and then if I cut both sides of my bag, I'll have two, yay. And I could even get three, but I'm not gonna worry about that. There's one and two. And again, these don't have to be perfect, guys. Look, mine aren't perfect. And I'm gonna make one more. Here you go, Lindsay, you can use this. Here you go. And three. And then Lindsay, you can use that green if you want to. So I've made three stems right now. Now I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna thin those out just a little bit, okay? Because they're gonna go on the inside of our card. So I kinda want those a little bit straighter. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time cleaning those up while you guys are waiting. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up these stems and not make them too thin. So I'm just gonna clean them up. And if you, you could use paper. I'm using really, this is just paper, isn't it, Lindsay? Yes. It's really, it's thin paper. So don't worry about it. They don't have to be thick. They'll hold up. It's pretty anyway, what we're making. So don't worry about it. Okay, so again, cutting three long, there we go, stems. And just like this. And again, you can clean them up as you go. I'm just cleaning mine up because I know I have extra time. There we go. I've got my three stems. The animals are going crazy around here. Look, Miss Basie, what are you doing, girl? There she is right there. <laughs> oh yeah, Basie's decided to get up on the table and see what she wants to play with this morning, art <laughs> supply-wise. You can see what happens behind the scenes here. <laughs> At, uh, yep, there she is. Hi, sweet love. 
Hi, girl. Yep. Oh my gosh. So as yeah, you guys are cutting. She's up here, like looking at me, going, "Okay, mom, you're a little crazy." I All love right. Baisy. I love Baisy too. So I found some gift bags that I thought were really pretty that already looked like flowers to me. And I also have some construction paper too. So I'm gonna be doing it with construction paper and I'm gonna be doing it with some of this fun harder paper too. So I have both of them. So what you're gonna do next while you're cutting out those, you guys can go ahead and you know start making your raindrop pattern on here. And I'm gonna actually move mine out a little bit more as I'm drawing it, Lindsay's, <laughs> Lindsay's like, I don't know what I did with mine. We you're gonna need, I know, you're gonna need on these, you're gonna need at least, here, I'll give you mine, Lindsay. I found it. You found it, yep. The bottom part, you're gonna have to. Now, what, if I were you, to be really honest, if it's thin paper, watch. I would just trace one. Let me show you a trick, okay? Watch. I'm just gonna trace one and I'm gonna make a little bit thicker on the bottom, okay? Then I'm gonna fold my paper, watch this. I'm gonna fold it forward. And, cause I can cut through more than one piece of paper. Now, if your paper is super thick, you're not gonna be able to cut through as much as I am, but I'm gonna cut through four of these. <laughs> I want them all to look alike. So I'm just gonna take my paper. I'm gonna do my bubble cut. See how thin that is, it's so easy to cut through. That was so super simple. And look, I can cut, I could probably cut 20 of these, just telling you on how thin this paper is. So this is just plain old copy paper that is, I've used for this. And I've got one, two, three, four. So you could cut a lot at once. Now on this harder kind of paper that I've got here, I'm gonna actually cut this away. Awesome, this is a lot thicker. So, and now I'm gonna keep that ribbon because I want my ribbon for later. So this is kind of like a found objects project too. You know, I just looked around certain parts of my house and found stuff. Ooh, look at that, that's even got that gold thing. I might even put that on the ribbon. Look, that little thing. And right, you know, I love you mom on there. If you have one of those that came with it extra, what a good idea. I mean, you can get creative and look that, that's really pretty right there. All right, so on here, this is a little bit thicker and I wanna make three of them. So I'm gonna cut this and fold and I don't want any writing on it. So I've got this one here, all right. And then I'm gonna just tear that, there we go. Now I've got room for three right there, perfect. I'm gonna take my paper, open it up, Make sure that I've got three there. Again, I've got three already done. We need nine I'm of these. Down. Yes, we need nine of these total. So really what I'm doing, guys, is just tracing out these. So I'll wait for this and show you what to do with that in a minute. So we just need nine. So I'm gonna use six, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use six red and I'm gonna use three for the base. So what I'm doing is just cutting out these teardrops, that's all I'm doing. And I'm just waiting for you guys, just cutting out teardrops, waiting for you guys after I've done my stems. Perfect. So I've got six more, there we go. And I'm gonna wait. I don't know if that's gonna flatten out. It might flatten out for you, Lindsay. And then, so, I really don't like how I cut those four, so I'm gonna make from this pattern right here, I like how I've cut that. So I'm gonna get another red piece of paper and cut more, cause I like the way this pattern looks. So I'm gonna use this as my pattern now. My other one was a little weird. So I'm gonna use this pattern to make my extras, which is really kind of hard to see. So, um, yeah, cause I put it on red, there we go. So all we're doing right now is we're making, we need nine of these total, cause you're gonna use three per flower. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding mine over so I can cut out more than one at a time because this paper is really thin. It's like, I don't know, it's like, what kind of paper? Is that working, Lindsay, on that one? Mm -hmm. Awesome, so I'm just cutting out 
these teardrops. So I'm gonna have six that I can really see well. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven, perfect. I'm gonna take those two away. Awesome, I just need six of these because you need two for each flower if you're gonna use it. Now, if you're gonna use just all one solid color, then you need nine of these. So if you're gonna do all solid colors, you can, you're gonna need nine. Okay, yep, I'm slowing down. You got six, good. If you have five, that's good. Well, I'm, I'm slowing down, I promise you guys. So listen, if you want yours all the same color, I'm just telling you, you need three per each piece. So I don't want mine all the same color. So I'm gonna go through and use these that I found as extras. So I'm just gonna take this and all I'm doing is cutting out these guys. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna trace this out. And you know what? When I use this, I might not like it. I might want to use the other one. So it's always good to have extras. So if you and your sister are in here working on these, you know, and you're like, oh, I don't like the colors I did, you know, and if you have extras, you could trade with each other. You can mix up colors. Again, this is just your own project. It's a lot of fun. It's very fun to do. This is all about fun. I'm making something pretty for mom at the same time. And then I'm just cutting this one out. Ooh, I think that's really pretty. Oh, I like how that turned out. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So, I'm just making my raindrops right now. If I have extra where I can work with it, I would, but this is kind of here and that's folded, so I don't. So I'm gonna look at another piece that I can find for the raindrop right here. That looks pretty good right there. I can put that there and make the next one. And again, I'm using these three because I want to use these for my background and I might not like I said I don't have one to show you an example to show you because I didn't want to use my materials all up today that I found in my house so I usually have one to show you like this is what it looks like there's my second cool and then again we're just doing our raindrops and then I'm just gonna find one more all right Let's see if this works. This kind of reminds me of our watercolor assignment, this uh, paper that I'm using right here. That one's got a bend on it. Nope, not gonna be able to. Well, yeah, that's gonna work. So I'm gonna use that one, draw in my line. There we go. All right, perfect. Cut off. Now, if you guys are gonna write on the inside of this, I would definitely, definitely consider using a pen or a pencil or a color pencil. I would not use a Sharpie to write in this unless you know it's gonna be over that box that you made on the outside. Oh, Lindsay's looks so different from mine, <laughs> I love it. Hers are, she's got pink polka dots. Aren't those cute polka dots are my favorite. You guys know that with purple. Right here, she's getting her uh, hers all set up. So, okay, I need you guys, if you are cutting right now, I need you to stop, okay? I want you to stop cutting because I want you to see what we're gonna do next. I know you guys want me to slow down, but that's okay. I just need you guys to stop, okay? All right, I want you guys to stop. Now, here's the key. I need you to get your glue stick. And if you, so I've got my three special ones, right? Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you can see my, I've got my three special ones. One, two, three. And they're not perfect at any stretch of any imagination. They're not perfect. All right, now I've got my extras and you might not have any three special. You might have just all the same color. Just put those down, okay? Now watch, we're just gonna use one. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna use my two with it. So I needed three per each one. All right, we're gonna make this look 3D. Ready? So you guys got your three. I'm gonna wait for just a minute. 
Now watch, I'm gonna take this one and fold it in half lengthwise, like this. So I'm gonna fold it in half lengthwise and I'm gonna open it up halfway. So it looks like it's a 90 degree or a right angle. It kinda looks like a dart. Kinda looks like a dart. I want you to do the same thing to your other one. Pick it up, fold it in half. There we go, and get a nice, clean, crisp edge. And then open it up halfway, and again, they look like darts. Okay, I want you to take, and I'm gonna get some white paper to put it underneath this because I don't wanna hurt my table. So let me get some white paper because I don't wanna glue just on my table. That's never good. All right. This one said mine looks like lips. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so they do look like lips, so good. Now, I want you to glue down on this side, just on the bottom, watch, and you're gonna place it on top like this. Oh, sorry, wrong way, oh gosh, this way. <laughs> there we go, oh my gosh, Miss Meyer. Just like that, fold that over, and look, you've got a 3D flower coming towards you like that. See, isn't that cool? Again, I goofed on that, so I had some glue there. So look, Ooh, it looks like a tulip. So cute, look at that. That's what your flowers should look like when it's done. Isn't that cool? So again, to show you how to do that, I'm gonna pull these off and re-show. You fold them in half, you lay this one down right here on the edge like this with the glue, remember, push down, and then let that lift up. Look at that cute little tulip. And you wanna have some space there. And again, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and you've got this really pretty 3D tulip. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, how pretty. Love, love. Do you like yours, Lindsay? I'm getting there. Nope, you gotta, okay, so look, this is what Lindsay just did right here. So what Lindsay needs to do is she needs to make sure that she opens that up so it has a letter V, like victory right there. See that mm -hmm. V right there? So she wasn't making hers uh, wide enough, but that's okay. That's a good mistake that people are gonna make and we need to make sure that they see that. So Lindsay, your next one, yep, yeah, it's more like this. You glue them on like that, guys. You don't glue them up straight up because you want to have that negative space right there to create your tulip. And you don't glue all the way up because then you're gluing to nothing. <laughs> but that's all right. We're all learning. That's okay. So let me show you Lindsay's again. That looks good, Lindsay. There you go. She's got it now. You go, girl. Let's see. Let's talk to the table. Uh-huh. Let's see. All right. So that looks good now. And Lindsay's, she could go. Lindsay, I'm going to show you just a little bit lower like that mm -hmm. and wider and lower and wider look to make that really pretty V. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Let's see. And then that shows that, um, oh, that shows that polka dot right there. So again, and then smush that down. Look at that. That's so pretty. Very pretty. Yay. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, I'm slowing down. There's Lindsay. So I'm going to show you hers. Um, so instead of slowing down, I'm just going to show you again how to do it with the next one. Okay. So again, instead of slowing down, I'm gonna show you again how to do it. So you have your base, all right? You take a, you're, you get two extras. So now, let me go ahead and make one all one color so in case somebody's just making theirs all one color, they can see it. So here's my three pieces that I need. And instead of slowing down, I'm just making an extra so you can see how to do it. You're gonna take one, you're gonna fold it in half, like so. And here's the key, guys. When you glue this down, you want it to glue out so you see this big letter V. You don't wanna glue up like that because it'll look like a bud. I, actually, that could be pretty, but for this project, you're gonna glue it out like this. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna not, I haven't glued yet. I'm gonna take my other one, fold it in half, and this one has pencil on it. And I really wanna just make sure that that tip is folded nice, like so. And then I'm just gonna glue, watch, you could take your glue, 
and you could just put a little bit down on the corner right here. See that? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. And I'm gonna glue a little bit on that corner right there. See that? And then I'm gonna lay this on top so that that fold is sticking up like that. So the fold is towards the middle. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. So now I have this 3D looking tulip or flower. You can see all three of mine. There we go. So again, we need to do this three times. So I'm gonna show you again how to do this. So instead of slowing down, I'm just gonna continue making mine. I'm just gonna fold over my teardrop of my two extra red. If you have only one color, no big deal. I'm gonna fold them both over. Again, I'm making three of these. Let me see, Lindsay. That's really pretty. This is Lindsay's second attempt. So much prettier. Oh, I love it, pretty. That's gorgeous, that looks like a tulip. I'm gonna just keep all these on here so you guys can all see these. Oh, and Lindsay's got all three of hers. So she's got two polka dots and then one without a polka dot. Oh, that's a good idea. Cute. Well, Lindsay, that one you might wanna move in a little bit more because the other ones, I did that. So I'm moving this in a little bit more. All right. Because yours are perfect. Look at those, those are pretty. Uh huh. So those are Lindsay's three. So again, I'm gonna take mine, put a little glue right here on this side, create my tulip. Again, getting that negative spacing be there with my flap on the outside or the inside. Doing the same thing to the other side. Oops. I love these tulips. That's gorgeous. All right, there's my second. And then I'm gonna make a third. So, that's great. Um, I can see pencil on that, so I'm gonna cut that pencil out. I don't wanna see pencil on my final. So I'm gonna get rid of that pencil. There we go. All right, again, I'm gonna take my paper, fold it in half. This should be old hat for you guys now. You should, you should be able to get this nice and neat for your last one. Good job. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my last one and fold it. Just making sure that that point is all nice and neat, folding it like that. And then I will glue that there, just like that. Glue down, perfect. Glue down, all right. Okay, perfect. Now, if you guys don't have ribbon, you don't need to do the last part today. But if you do have ribbon or something to use, because you're gonna have to, also, I don't have a hole punch at home, so I'm gonna have to use my pencil to poke through for the last part. Here's yours, Lindsay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, like so they're pretty. All right, so now, what you're gonna do next, and then look guys, is all you're gonna do is you're gonna glue your tulip to your stem. So you're gonna turn them over, glue it down to the back. Again, I would like to have this to be a lot stronger than it is, but that's okay. Glue that to the back, middle, and make sure it kinda goes up high. Uh, you wanna give it some kind of like non-flap ability to it. If you wanted to, just saying, if you wanted to, I had, and later on you could do this too, I had cut out cardboard pieces from my uh, cereal, or, or no, Honey Maid or whatever. You could actually glue this onto the back of yours, just showing you so that you could get strength from that. And that could be strong. If yours is flip flopping, you could do that. If you want it to sit up straight, you could take cardboard and glue it to the back if you want to. For me, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I think it's pretty, it's a card, it's gonna hang up pretty. But if you want yours to like sit up later on, 
you could add that to it, but for me, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so next, I'm gonna take my next one. And again, I can just smush that down on the back, glue it down, take my green, place it on, get it nice and neat. Yep, <laughs> that's kind of like it. It's a little different, but yep, kind of exactly like that. Oh, and then fold these back out like that once I've turned them over. All right, so I'm getting stems on all of mine. And we're gonna almost be done with this, guys. Yay, good job. One day assignment in the books again for us. This is awesome. So, there we go. Oh, oops, I glued on the wrong color. <laughs> of course, of course, it's okay. it's okay. It's a Thursday. Thursdays kind of feel like Fridays now. All right. Tuesdays feel like Mondays. Yeah, Tuesdays feel like Mondays. All right. So I kind of glued that down on both sides. That's, <laughs> that's a mess. Fired. I know. So I'm going to just pull some of that glue off. Oh, there we go. Get it unsticky. There we go. All right. So I've got my three. Now I've got to make a decision. Which one do I want in the middle? You know, for me, I really think that green is so different. I'm gonna make that in my middle. Like Lindsay, she uh, totally has two polka dots on hers. So whatever you want in the middle, you can use in the middle. Now, I'm gonna zoom this out. We are going back to our card that says Happy Mother's Day, okay? If you have, so some of you won't do this. If you have ribbon, this is where I need you to poke holes, okay? So if you have ribbon, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna poke a whole dot right here, okay? This could go terribly wrong, <laughs> just saying. Um, and I'm gonna put another dot right there. I'm gonna actually take my pencil and I'm gonna push down and try to poke a hole, I got a hole. Don't make that hole really big and then I'm just gonna whittle it through to make that hole a little bit bigger. So. Mine's going very wrong. So yeah, some, now watch. Th here's the thing, guys. Once at a time, slow and steady wins the race. Slowly, slowly, slowly poke good. Once you get it through, then you can start wiggling and making it a little bit bigger, okay? You put, I put the opening on the pattern. Okay, I put the opening on the pattern. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. This is, I put the opening on the bottom. Oh, on the bottom? That's all right. That's all right. You could still do this part. You, you could open it, sure. Fire. And you could glue yours to the back. Okay, so if you put your opening on the bottom because you folded it and did it wrong, listen. So I'm going to act like this is the top. You can just glue your flowers to the back right here, okay? I'll show you if you put your opening on the bottom. So again, Lindsay's got hers ready to go. Watch. You just take your pencil. If you have a hole punch, this is where you use it. <laughs> Do not use scissors. You are not allowed to use scissors for this. Do you hear me? A pencil will work just fine. And then look, you just do this there. And again, if you're trying to poke through two of them, take your time, okay? Okay, got it. Thank you, Miss Uh-huh, please do not use scissors. You're not allowed to use scissors for this. Okay, Lindsay already got hers poked there. And this is only if you have ribbon. If you don't have ribbon, don't do this part because <laughs> there's no reason for you to do this or string or something like that. Good. And so, okay, so we've got hers poked. Now, that's just waiting for people. Here, Lindsay, I'm going to use this color and you're going to use that white. Lindsay's got some white that she can use. Oh, she does not have enough white. We're going to have to share this one, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll give it to you afterwards. <laughs> Hold on. Scissors. Okay. I thought I had enough ribbon there. I didn't. So it was a that's all right. Um, hey, but I've got this much ribbon, so you need a little bit of ribbon. So what I'm going to show you to do is that afterwards. Lindsay, I'll let you have the other one. Okay. So not long enough? No. Well, you could... It just has to act like it ties in a bow in the front. Or oh. you, you could put it around that way and glue it to the back. I mean, you could. Well, okay. So nonetheless, you got your holes punched. Okay, guys. So listen, if you made yours on the bottom and you're going to open it up and read it, you're going to turn it over right now. Okay. This is for only if you made it this way. 
and you're gonna glue your flowers on the back like this. You're gonna glue one down like this, watch. Then you're gonna glue another one at an angle like that. And you're gonna glue your last one like this on an angle. This is only if you goofed and you, and you didn't goof, that's fine, but you're gonna do that. So I didn't, so mine opens like this. So now I'm gonna take my one oddball one and I'm gonna put it pretty, pretty low in the base because I don't have that strong bond and I don't want it to flip flop. So I'm gonna place some glue and place this down the middle of my base like this and rub it down. All right. And then I'm gonna take my other two and glue them at an angle like so. And Lindsay, you can have that ribbon. I'm gonna use this red and white string. I just found some string I can use for mine. And, cause that matches yours, I think, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna glue this down right here on an angle like that. Perfect. And again, mine aren't gonna go high above my vase. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna glue my third one here. Perfect. And glue it down. Now, if you want to add leaves or whatever you want in here to make this prettier, you can add that. Now, remember we wrote in this square right here, Happy Mother's Day on the inside. And that square, if you don't leave that square, you could write like, you are the best or whatever you want to to your mom love you you know and whatever your name is and there's your message that way it won't bleed over and you can't see it on the front you could also take your sharpie and outline this if you want to look how cute that looks like that and then last but not least you're gonna take your string, your yarn, whatever you have, and you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna take, and, oh, I gotta poke it through here too. All right, made that goof. Whoa, poke, slow poke. <laughs> slow poke. That's, that's the key, just going really slow. So now on this, when you take this and poke this through, what I do is I take this, I take my pencil, and I kind of like help shove it through that hole until I can get it to the other side. I kind of keep on shoving it through, shoving it through without tearing it. Once I get it through, perfect. Pull it through, sure, Lindy, sure. We can all do this without scissors. No scissors. Please, no scissors. That's how you can really hurt yourself. Okay, oh, I got it through. Good, I'm gonna go to my other side. You need a sharper pencil, yeah. And then I'm gonna shove it through here. Again, I'm going through the back side first. Shoving this through, and if you don't have this part, that's okay. Your card will look pretty without it too. Again, I'm trying to shove it, and I'm gonna have to cut some of that because it's unraveling. You can see, and then I'm gonna erase my pencil lines that I've made trying to shove that through. <laughs> Again, shoving your ribbon through, is your ribbon shoving through, Lindsay? Mm -hmm. Okay, look at Lindsay's go. Okay, good, I've got mine. Then I'm gonna take it and shove it through these. Ugh. Now, on this, you might have to get a little crazy with it and just go this way so when you're shoving it through, Where's my hole? I didn't do a hole there. I'm just gonna take that and slide that right up there. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> uh, there we go, yep, and shove through this one again. And you wanna make sure your string, you could use yarn, string, thread, whatever. You could use rope. Let me see, Lindsay. Oh, it's supposed to be. On the back side. Um, um yeah. So look, I don't, no, no, no. So you can just take it and I think pull it through. No. Yeah, you guys gotta work front to back. So look, 
now, or Lindsay, watch. She could, you can do it that way, watch. So Lindsay did hers like this. So, you know, she could actually take hers if she wanted to and she could pull it around, but or she could just tie it in the back too, right here. Hold on. She could just tie hers in the back like that. Ta-da, and then her mom can open it from the back. So on mine, what I'm gonna do is just take this, tie this in the front and a pretty bow like that and then or I can tie it like this and just let it hang pretty like that and then I have my Mother's Day card that my mom can take and open up and read like that you're the best wonderful and that's your Mother's Day card now again putting that ribbon back together is not going to be fun <laughs> but that's part of opening up your card and having it all or you could just take it you know what you know what you could do guys much easier. Again, I saw this online. You could take this watch. Lindsay, watch. You don't even have to poke through. You could just take this watch. Tie it here around that lid. What do you think there, guys? And you could put a piece of tape on the back and tie it like that. And again, if you don't want to do it that way, that's. I just think it's cute to have that added to it. And that's your little Mother's Day card. And Again, if you want these to stand up straight, you can, but it'll hang up really pretty on your wall, wherever you are. And it's a Happy Mother's Day card. You can actually, you know, you could write things on here like clean the house <laughs> and do the trash. Um, you know, another chore that you love to do for your mom, whatever. So Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this one day cute little pop-up card assignment with found objects and as always keep art in your heart and we'll oh next week you're gonna need we're gonna do tessellations and i'll get a needs for you but you're gonna need scissors uh index cards and uh ruler pencil eraser for the first day i will see you all then have a great weekend love you all bye